Greetings all, I hope you're well wherever you are. Nick Jordan here. Here is my latest purchase. It is a 1988 double-decker Denning 500 horsepower turbo diesel V8 with a four-speed Allison automatic. It weighs 17.9 tonne and it's got a gross vehicle mass of 23 tonne. And uh, not unlike that one over there, which I said was a lot of fun driving, and as a beast, this one is even more fun, and it is definitely a beast. 500, uh, sorry, 500 horsepower. I just spent the last two days coming back from Sydney in this thing. Yeah, a lot of fun. Um, so I'll give you a quick walk around on the outside. So we've got a front door there, and we've got a side door. Jewel, jewel wheels at the back. So even the tag axle has got jewel tires in there and then you've got your storage up here because it's there's no bins in a bus like this i'm surprised there's a lot of storage in here this is probably 700 mil tall by about 300 uh sorry three meters long and yeah lots of storage and you can access it from both sides obviously and then you can walk in the back there to access it um so if we cruise around the back it's a little bit of a different setup to your normal sort of single level coaches that I traditionally do. So radiator at the back, it's on a uh, hinge point. You undo it over here, radiator swings out and you can access the motor. And then on top of the radiator, there's, you see them in there, there's three big cooling fans, which uh, I imagine are cooling even more radiators up there. But then we come around to the, uh, well, you can see it from this side. This is the best part. It's got the, uh, the Detroit, V8 turbo diesel 500 horsepower house party that sucker has got some power that's for sure it was uh i was overtaking cars in this thing on the way back i was totally blown away by the power so uh yeah you've got the batteries in there more storage and then a thousand liter fuel tank so that goes the full width of the bus and that's probably about a meter tall and then you just sort of rinse and repeat on this side, so I'll take you for a quick look inside. So I spent the last two days driving this back from south of Sydney to Warwick in Queensland. I was in it for about an hour and a half and then the rain came down. On the highway doing 100 k's an hour, around a left hand bend, and the arse end of the bus just went shh, just sort of flicked out. So uh, yeah, lucky I had my brown pants on, it was an interesting occasion, that's for sure. But as we go inside, it's a 65 seater, and we've got 15 seats downstairs. Hopefully you can see this, it's getting a bit late in the afternoon. 15 seats, head height's about 1.82 in here, so there's no jumping jacks. You're not going to be doing star jumps, but uh, we've got the wheel arches there. And then up to the bus driver man, with a plethora of bloody switches and gadgets and all sorts of stuff, which I haven't really worked out yet, but I will. Uh, CB, stereo, all sorts of cameras and stuff, front door. But I'll take you for a quick squeeze upstairs. Up through the stairs here. There's 50 seats upstairs. And same again, head height's about 1.82, something like that. So if you look towards the back, Got a roof vent there, and then towards the front. So yeah, all these seats will come out, and um, all the parcel shelves will come out, and we'll just see what we can come up with. There's the old mischief camera. <laughs> a good spot for a couch up here, actually, so you can see stuff. But um, yeah, I've never had a double decker before, and after spending the last two days in it. Um, I quite liked them. I was very surprised, very surprised. On um, many levels, just the power and the way they handle. Wind is a bit of a problem. You've got to be on your, on your toes when you come out and there's, uh, like when you come from somewhere that's sheltered when you're driving into an open space and it's windy, especially if it's wet. That gets a bit hairy, but um, yeah. But that's the, the um, the Denning, um, alright, I'll uh, leave it at that, but I'll do a very quick 
video of um, just the sound of the engine. It's the old school Detroit V8. You'll love it. Okay, bye for now.